have uh, another man here from Galway. Uh, I'm down the road, Pete, Johnny Luby, in a place called Golden yeah, Cashel. Yeah, yeah. Not too bad, boy. Yeah. Uh, you're often the bane of all life playing wing back there for Galway, uh, thundering through with the ball. They were great days for Galway, weren't they? We had a few great tussles, all right, in, yeah. the, in the 80s with Tip. Ah, yeah, two good teams came together at the same right, time, yeah. Johnny. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I must say it's a pleasure to meet you. I saw one of your match uh, analysis and uh, I'd say it must be 25 years ago and I tell you it brought more pleasure to more households laughing at some of uh, years when you let it in <laughs> mighty cracks mighty cracks but uh, yeah Pete uh, uh, Galway uh, of course to like uh, uh, everything else uh, a bit of consistency they played brilliant uh, against Limerick this year they probably could have yeah, I saw them against Kilkenny in Pierce Stadium and, yeah. and I said, you know, we might do something this year because we played a lovely blend of Hurland. But then Cody changed the tactics and the rules and we went, met them in the Leinster final and he tightened everything up and squeezed us to death yeah. and we had no plan B, you know, and yeah. we just ran out harmless, harmless losers. And I was worried about going to, to Dublin to play Limerick after seeing our performance since Cork and Thurless. But in fairness, after 10, 15 minutes, the lads began to step up yeah, and played as a team, played as a unit, played some good hurling again but at the end of the day when Limerick in did the bench we didn't have anything to match them but you know and they just ran out as as, as they have done all year in the last 10 minutes yeah and Peter you're a man that won all Ireland with Galway in the whole lot and it, it doesn't grieve me to say but Limerick have a bloody good team and a good panel Oh, it doesn't grieve me either. I, I, met, I met Michal Amor Horthy in 1980, in 2017, and we were doing something in Gaul. We opened an office for a man. And we were saying, who would he like to see win the, the All-Ireland? He says, I'd love to see Limerick. He says, yeah. he says they've only won one All-Ireland, I think, in, in maybe 80 years, yeah. something like that. Like, you think about all the great horrors that went through Limerick in that length of time, but, you know, in the year the last softly and the heartbreak that that was, That's and right, yeah. the great players that didn't get an All-Ireland, you know, and I wouldn't begrudge them. This era will come and this era will go. It's like the great Dublin team we saw in football, you know, they're That's on right, the decline yeah. now. And Limerick will decline and somebody else will, will, will ascend again, like, like Kilkenny, we thought, that never go down. But everybody deserves, and the more teams that come up and, and get a rattle at it, the better for everybody. You know, we're sick and tired of those temporary Cork and Kilkenny <laughs> divine trinity, as we were told when we were growing up. Huh? Oh, yeah. And Peter, I'll finish on this. Uh, are you a good man to pray? Oh, jeez, when I'm a whole, Johnny, I, I do, do a lot of prayer and a lot I, of promising. Is there any chance that you'd say a prayer for Tipperary? I'd rather be in an awful big hole. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Pete, thanks very much. Hey, the best of luck, lad. Hey, thanks, we'll see you later, right, bye, right.